This breed can be safely called the most controversial. Seeing such a dog, most people will be afraid of him, because his huge size allows this dog to regularly take places in the ratings of the largest dogs, but the main feature of the Newfoundland breed, or as I call it a diver, is not in its size, but in its incredibly kind heart and complacent temperament, making this breed the most devoted and kind towards humans. In this issue, you will learn a lot of interesting things about this breed. Breeders call this breed a gentle giant. These are large and heavy dogs, and their puppies look like teddy bears. But they do not remain so for long, as Newfoundlands grow very quickly. The Newfoundland breed belongs to very ancient breeds and got its name from the island of the same name, from where it is believed that it began to spread. The Newfoundland was bred in Newfoundland, in one of the Canadian provinces and in its kinship there are breeds such as large Pyrenean dogs, Tibetan Mastiffs and Labradors. Outwardly, the Newfoundland looks like a large Pyrenean dog, and with its excellent swimming skills and coloring, it looks like a Labrador. The original purpose of the Newfoundland was to help fishermen pull fishing nets out of the water onto the shore. In addition, it was constantly used to successfully search for various things that fell out of the boats. Newfoundlands are able to dive and make long swims. After some time, the Newfoundland became a first-class rescue dog, this skill has remained with him to this day, they are unsurpassed rescuers of drowning people. The webbed feet, thick coat, and large size of the breed made it tolerant of the icy waters of the Atlantic off the coast of Newfoundland. This breed was also used to transport carts to guard farms. He is a great housekeeper. He is devoted and faithful to his master all his life. Newfoundland quickly gained popularity in Canada, the United States, and then in Europe. Dogs are very friendly, they enjoy communicating with people, including strangers. Today, the Newfoundland is first and foremost an excellent companion dog that has not lost its skills, which are so necessary in search and rescue operations. The Newfoundland is a wonderful house pet that quickly gets used to a certain daily routine and a small living space. By his temperament, he is very calm, so in appearance he seems relaxed and detached from business. With adult family members, Newfoundlands behave on an equal footing. The kids are treated patronizingly, protect them and patiently endure annoying pestering. The friendliness of this breed is even enough to become attached to other pets from parrots to cats, and if they disappear, the dog is very worried about this. They do not experience aggression towards foreign animals and try to establish friendly relations. The benevolence of the Newfoundland will not allow him to be a guard dog, he does not have an innate aggressive reaction to strangers, he needs time to assess the situation. However, sensing the danger to family members and homes, these dogs repulse the enemy with lightning speed. They have high intelligence, excellent memory, quick wit, and even surprisingly know how to predict the desires of the owner. Representatives of the breed are polite and delicate, but they absolutely cannot stand criticism in relation to themselves, do not tolerate screams and rude orders, resentment will leave an indelible mark on their memory. Newfoundlands are characterized by a measured lifestyle, they are not too mobile, so their activity should be stimulated. The best way is to provide them with the opportunity to swim and play in the water. Adapted to life in city apartments, but it is desirable that the area of backslash U 200 B backslash U 200 B room be larger than average. But the ideal conditions for keeping a Newfoundland are still a country house near a reservoir. The Newfoundland is called a dog with a golden character. He is kind, devoted, friendly, tactful, not at all disposed to aggression. The very presence of this good-natured giant in the house creates an atmosphere of comfort, security, and benevolence. Perhaps the Newfoundlands are the most socialized dogs in the world, the main purpose of their existence is to serve a person. They are selflessly heroic and ready to help at any moment. They give themselves completely to the work entrusted to them whether it be police or military missions, escorting the blind and even transporting goods. No wonder one of the paintings by the British artist Edwin Henry Landseer, which depicts the Newfoundland in all its glory, is called a worthy member of human society. Divers demonstrate their excellent character traits from early childhood. Kids are not at all capricious, they quickly become attached to the owner, but they do not bother, demanding increased attention to themselves, they do not whine and do not bark for no reason. Adult dogs are incredibly smart and practical. 
You can even say that they have an analytical mind and have their own opinion on any issue. Commands that seem meaningless to them, they can simply ignore or execute in their own way. But in order to rush to the aid of a drowning man, this dog does not need a command at all, it will selflessly throw itself into the water in any case. Clearly and confidently Newfoundlands act in dangerous situations, for this they also do not need special instructions. Actually, innate intelligence and the ability to quickly make the right decision under the circumstances are a hallmark of the outstanding intelligence of these animals. Newfoundlands are well versed in the intonations of the human voice and can easily determine what mood the owner is in. They understand when they need to be supported by being nearby, or they are removed from sight. Very polite by nature, Newfoundlands are very sensitive to rudeness towards themselves. The dog, like a person, is offended when they shout at him, and after a quarrel, he closes in on himself for a while, refusing to communicate with the offender. Newfoundlands love family picnics. In the interior of the car, they do not worry. Playing in nature, especially near water bodies, where they can swim to their heart's content, brings these dogs incredible pleasure. Parents can be calm for the kids if there is a vigilant Newfoundland next to them. He will gladly take part in children's amusements, but he will stop risky pranks on his own or by loud barking he will notify others about the danger. The apprehension and excellent memory of the Newfoundland turn ordinary training into a pleasant pastime. The dog grasps everything on the fly and often, without listening to the end of the task, starts to carry it out. Commands to this dog should be given in a calm tone, without raising your voice. She simply will not respond to demanding orders and screams. Actually, this is not required it is enough for a Newfoundland to ask politely and gently for something, and he will readily respond to any wish. The Newfoundland is a monogamous dog. Having given his heart to one family, he will forever remain faithful to her. Having changed owners for some reason, the dog will be polite with them, but he will not be able to get rid of longing for his home. It will be difficult for new owners to establish a trusting relationship with such a pet. Thank you friends for watching to the end, write what breed you have, and what breeds you want to see new issues about. Well, that's all for today, thank you all for watching, if it was interesting, support the video with likes, thank you for subscribing, and take a look at what else we have prepared for you.